<laughs> so we had a little fun with that, you know. Oh, that's great. Wow. So a little sense of humor there once in a while. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you guys have been together. You guys are also on a Smoke and Sled Dog Records, right? Yep. Mine was Smoke and Sled Dog and uh, Togo Touring Artists. Togo Touring Artists. Yeah. Yeah. Out of Lansing. Mm -hmm. Good friends, man. Jamie yeah. Soup. Jamie Soup, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. I, uh, I'm going to stop you now and maybe can you give us, I'm going to ask you for a couple of requests tonight. Okay. Uh, that one? Can you give us an Irish song followed by a Zedico song? Okay. I, I'm not set up on an Irish song. Okay. On guitar, just because I never play guitar on Irish music. I always play bazooki. Gotcha. Yeah, if, had I known, I could have brought my bazooki. I was just thinking, let's get a little of all these flavors that you can give us. Yeah, so and I'm not the Irish singer. Susan. Sure, sure. You sure. know, and to be honest with you, we come from different directions musically a lot. I, I'm, uh, I don't even want to say it, probably more of a scholar musician. She's more of a folk musician. So, so, um, and there's nothing wrong with they're both great don't get me wrong it, and uh so when she plays she usually plays the song pretty much the same way every time when i play behind her or whenever time i play i'm a, i come from a very strong blues background and a bit of jazz and so i might improvise but even when we do irish music i'm always improvising <laughs> and susan will always tell the audience if you hear that they see me looking at zegas because i'm hearing this for the first time just like you are <laughs> and, and it's probably true. So my whole relationship with Irish music is, I don't want to play until I hear what she sings, because because I can. I, my idea is I want to embellish her voice all the time awesome. until I hear her sing it. You know, and I know what I want to play, and that's that's really how I play. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, give us some original from your uh, Zedico Ziggy side to start, and okay. then we'll, we'll, uh, I can edit out here while we're. Okay, I'm gonna grab a harmonica here over. too. <clears throat> when I write, I usually write with the harp and the guitar at the same time. It's actually become a integral part of my style. What I do. I grab the right harmonic. I love just getting on Facebook about eleven or twelve at night, and sometimes you're boop, yeah. Here comes Zig. Yeah, and a lot of those are improvisations. A lot. Sometimes I don't even have a clue what I want to do, and it's well, I'm going to do something. See what I come up with. Come up with a lyric off the top of my head. That's what kind thing. of harmonicas are those? Well, this these, this set here is a set of, let's see what do I have in my car. These are called Blues Masters. These are actually Suzuki, which is unusual. Yeah, I like these because they're a little mellower sometimes. I mean, most, most of the time I'm playing Honers, Honor Marine Bands. Right. I mean, that's my, this is my, my car set, which I decided to use today. And for a situation like this here, I think it works a little nicer because the honers get a little shrill, a little bit loud, too loud. And this kind of blends with the guitar a little bit more, and, you know. And I find in some settings, like if I'm doing something like a nursing home or something like that, you know, it's not quite so shrill, and you know, it, it, it blends in a little better, you know. That you know, it, you don't have to mix it so much, you know. Okay, okay, it's a little too long. Blue tune called Abigail. This is a pretty much a blues thing. Yeah, feel free to adjust that if the harp's too loud or something. Those 
So this is the first Cajun song you ever wrote? It is, yeah. All right, now, what year would that have been? Wow. <laughs> just a broad estimate. I would say somewhere in the 80s, you know, okay. maybe early 80s, maybe. Um, is that when you got maybe interested yeah. in that style of music? Uh, you know, I think I always was, because I hear Cajun music every once in a while, you know, you like more mainstream stuff, probably like Doug Kershaw, mm -hmm. yeah. people like that. But, uh, and I got more and more interested in it. And, uh, I did my first tour of uh, Louisiana. We were down there for a month down on the bayou. We were staying in a double trailer, a double wide house trailer on the bayou. And had a wonderful time. And mm -hmm. then we went to New Orleans and I actually got to uh, sit in with the Cajun band down there. And uh, I was kind of hooked. And a couple years later, I'm thinking, why isn't anybody doing this up north? What? something's wrong here so I took the initiative to try to get some people together to do it and well actually when Perry and I started playing together at one time we started doing I started incorporating some of that stuff and people were really hitting on us and well, let's, let's just kind of go for this so that's kind of what we did you know, and Cajun you know and we had some Cajuns in, in the band we, we started just Perry and I two piece then we went to we had a five piece band you know and uh I played fiddle, another guy played fiddle, and uh, I played some chord. We had a, actually had a Cajun accordion player. Had a few Cajuns in the band now and then, and I don't know if most people don't know this, I think, but because of the Dow plant here, there's also a Dow plant on the Gulf Coast. Yeah. Uh, some of those people migrated, so we got some fun people over there. And mm -hmm. they used to have a bunch of them, they used to put on a wonderful party every year with them. Authentic food. It was, it was good. It was crawfish. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was good stuff. Yeah. And, uh, oh, what's this one called? Mm -hmm. This is called Cajun Girl. Oh yeah, Cajun Girl. Yeah. That's right. uh, you want to play some rubber on this, Fred? I can. Yeah, Fred. <laughs> really, that's always thinking. He's been waiting for this for two and a half years. You realize? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it might stand up a ways away. Yeah. Yeah. So, but while while Fred's hooking that up, I. How many records do you have out now? Uh, give us an idea and what. Yeah, you have to ask Susan that. She claims I have 20 some things out. Okay, know. I knew you had a lot. Not, yeah. And they, but some are Cajun, some are Zedico, some uh, are Blues. Some yeah, are, all different. Uh, some of you rock roll. Right. One year, uh, I, we were horsed around rehearsing the, ba the band. Uh, this was with some different people at that time. That was with Kevin Oswald and. I believe it was Steve Vincent. And at that time, you know, we were just horsed around and started playing a rockabilly too. And we had a good time with it. Well, so one year we said, let's just let's do a rockabilly album. And so we did that. And 
I never knew 